Here is the lower extremity muscular anatomy. This first muscle right here is the gluteus maximus. If I take this layer off, right here we have the gluteus medius. If I was able to peel that back underneath we would have the gluteus minimus, but on this model we cannot show that. Right here is the piriformis, and then here, gemellus superior, obturator internus, gemellus inferior, and quadratus femoris. Once more, gluteus medius, piriformis, gemellus superior, obturator internus, gemellus inferior, and quadratus femoris. We'll put this back on and we'll move to the lateral thigh. Right here is the tensor fasciae latte, the band that extends off of there is the IT band or iliotibial band or you can even say iliotibial tract. So again, TFL, IT band, and we're going to move to the anterior aspect of the thigh. In this region, we have the quadriceps femoris muscles. First one right here is the rectus femoris, which is in the center. You can follow this muscle up from the patella to see that it's the one in the center. And then we have three vastus muscles. On the big toe side or the medial side we have the vastus medialis. On the lateral side or the little toe side we have the vastus lateralis. And if I take the rectus femoris off we have the vastus intermedius underneath. So vastus medialis vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis. The longest muscle in the body right here extending from the ASIS down to the medial aspect of the knee this is the sartorius. Next we have two muscles forming the iliopsoas group which is the psoas major here and then the iliacus which is up here and better viewed in a different model. This muscle actually looks like a fan inside of the iliac fossa. Next right here we have the pectineus after that we have the adductors. Only two adductors out of the three can be viewed on this model. That is the adductor longus, which is more anterior, and then the adductor magnus, which you can see part of it here and also part of it here. The muscle that the adductor magnus is running underneath right here is the gracilis, which is a muscle running straight down the medial aspect of the thigh. If we move to the back of the thigh, we have the hamstrings. The, the hamstrings are made up of three muscles. Right here we have the semitendinosus, which is going to go into a cord-like tendon down here. On a real cadaver, I would be able to stick my probe underneath this muscle and lift it up and underneath you would see the semimembranosus, which you can view here and here on this model. So semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and you can also view it from this side as well. On the lateral side, we have the biceps femoris. 
which has two heads, one here, and then the other head right here. If we move down to the leg, we have the anterior aspect of the leg. Here is the tibia. So right here we have the tibialis anterior. Right here we have the extensor digitorum, which is going to go to digits two through five. We go to the lateral aspect of the leg. We have two muscles here, and the model doesn't really show too well that there actually are two muscles, but right here we have a muscle belly and then a ribbon-like tendon coming down. This is the fibularis longus. If this was on a real cadaver, I'd be able to stick my probe underneath, lift up this ribbon-like tendon, and you could view the entire fibularis brevis underneath, which has more of like a feather type pattern in its muscle fibers. If we go to the posterior aspect of the leg, right here and here we have two muscle bellies. This is the gastrocnemius. I'm going to take one of these off. And deep to the gastrocnemius, we have the soleus muscle, which is here and here. In this region, we also have a muscle called the plantaris, which you can see the muscle belly up here and the tendon going along here. So soleus and then plantaris. We take this group off. We have the popliteus, which can be viewed here and here. We have the tibialis posterior right here. We have the flexor digitorum longus right here. And then we have the flexor hallucis longus right here. Don't forget, just because this is more on the medial or on the lateral aspect of the leg, this is going to wind around to go to the big toe. So don't get confused because this has hallucis in the name and that it's on this side of the leg. If we go back to the anterior aspect of the leg, right here we have the extensor hallucis longus which is pretty much a straight shot down into the big toe. The muscle that's going to meet up alongside of it right here is the extensor hallucis brevis. So extensor hallucis longus up here, extensor hallucis brevis down here. We also have the extensor digitorum brevis, which is right here. You can see the different muscle bellies because it's going to digits two through five. On the plantar aspect of the foot, we have flexor digiti minimi brevis. We have flexor digitorum brevis going to digits two through five. We have flexor hallucis brevis. And then on the side here, we have abductor hallucis. And then we have abductor digiti minimi.